Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed about the basics of stack and applications of stack in detail. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video or if you don't know those concepts, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss how to implement the stack using the arrays. The implementation of the stack can be done using arrays or using the linked list. So in this video, I will discuss how to implement the stack using the array. In the next video, I will discuss implementing of the stack using the linked list. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me define what is an array. Array is a collection of homogeneous elements. You have declared an integer array. Okay. Each array will have the three terminologies. One is the data type and another one is the name of the array and the size. Suppose you have declared an integer array. Then you can store only collection of integer constants. Similarly, you have declared a character array. You can store only collection of characters. Now, how many characters or how many integer elements you can store will be depend on the size of the array. If the size is 5, you can only store 5 elements only. Always the array index will start from 0 and it will go up to size minus 1. Let's take that you have declared an integer array of size 10. Then you know that array index will start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are the array index. So the name of the array is A. And you know that all the elements will be stored in the contiguous memory locations. Let's take that you are running this program on a 32-bit compiler. In a 32-bit compiler, you know that one integer variable will occupy 4 bytes. If one integer variable will occupy 4 bytes, 10 such integer variables will occupy 40 bytes. Am I right? So, let's take that the base address of the array is 100. Meaning is that the first integer which is there at the index 0 will occupy 4 bytes. So, 100 is the first byte and it will go up to 103. So from 100 to 103 bytes, you are storing the first element in the array. Similarly, the next element will be stored from 104 to 107. Next one will be 108 to 111. And next one will be 112. Next one is 116, 120, 124, 128, 132 and 136 to 139 bytes. Okay. Usually it will be represented in 4 bytes, but for your understanding, we will say the first byte only. Okay, so the base address is 100 and the last element will be stored up to 139th byte. So totally 40 bytes of memory has been allocated. So this is the limitation of the array because we can store the number of elements depend on the size. So the memory allocation is static here. So that it is a static memory allocation. That limitation has been overcome using the dynamic memory allocation concept. And then we have discussed about the linked list. So the same stack we can implement using the linked list where the memory constant is not there. So that concept I will discuss in the next video. Okay. Now let me discuss how can we implement the stack using the array. Now already we discussed about the various operations in the stack. One is the push and another one is the pop and then display. These are the basic operations we can perform on the stack. Some people will say that even the peak. Peak is nothing but displaying the topmost element from the stack. Okay. Now let me erase this one and discuss about the push and pop operation how it will happen using the arrays and then displaying then we will write the C program to perform the push operation pop operation and display all these things using the arrays. Now let me make it simple I have taken the size as 5. So you know that array index will start from 0 and go up to size minus 1 which is nothing but 4. To make you understand as a stack let me represent like this. The same array I am representing like this. Okay. This is at the index 0. This is index 1. This is index 2. This is index 3. And this is index 4. 
initially top is equal to minus 1. What is the use of this variable top is that it will say the topmost element in the array. If top is equal to minus 1, then you can stay say, okay. <coughs> okay, this is index 4, not the element 4. If I write here, it is an element. If I write here, it is an index. Now, if initially top is equal to minus 1. If top is equal to minus 1, then you can say that stack is empty. If top is equal to 4, meaning is that size minus 1, because the array size is 5. So, if top is equal to 4 here, then you can say that stack is full. So, whenever you are pushing and deleting, you need to check these two conditions. When is the stack full? When is the stack is not full? If stack is empty, how can you check? If top is equal to is equal to minus 1, then you can say that stack is empty. If top is equal to size minus 1 of the array, then you can say that the stack is full. Now let me discuss about the push operation. What is meant by push operation? Inserting an element into the stack. Let me discuss, I want to insert the elements such as 10, 20, 30, 40 into the stack. So these are the elements I want to insert into the stack. The first element I want to insert is 10. So what I have to do is that I can insert the first element at the index 0 of the array A. Am I right or wrong? Whatever the element you are inserting first, always it will be inserted at the index 0. But top is equal to minus 1. We said that top will be pointing to the topmost element in the stack. So initially top is equal to minus 1. So there is no elements in the stack. Now if you inserted the element 10, then the first one element is there in the stack. So now top should be pointing here. Then only the topmost element is 10. So what you will do is that before inserting into the stack, first you will perform the top plus plus, which is nothing but the post fix increment. Okay, oh, sorry, not post fix increment, post increment. We have two types of increments, pre increment and post increment. This is the post increment. If you write plus plus top, this is the pre increment. Already I have discussed in C programming the difference between the post fix increment and oh, sorry. I'm always getting post fix because I was talking about in the applications of stack. In applications of stack, I have discussed infix and post fix. So that's why it is coming. So this is post increment. This is pre increment. Now you have to increment the top value or if you don't know this post increment, you can write simply like top is equal to top plus one also. Okay. Instead of top plus plus. Okay. Now top is equal to minus one minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now top is equal to 0. Am I right? Because whatever the expression is done, the final result will be assigned to the top variable. Now top is equal to 0. So the first element you want to insert at the index 0. So what you will write is that a of top is equal to 10. This element you want to insert into the array a is nothing but the stack. Okay, so a of top is nothing but a of 0 index. At the 0th index, you are element inserting the element called 10. So one element we have pushed into the stack. Now I want to push the element 20. Then again, I will perform these operations. First, I will do the top is equal to top plus 1. What is the top value? 0. So 0 plus 1 will be 1. So a of top is equal to 20. Okay, now what is the top value 1? At the index 1, you are inserting the element 20. Now top is equal to 1, meaning is that it is pointing here. So the topmost element here is now 20. It is pointing by the top. Okay, now you want to push the element 30. Then again, you will perform top is equal to top plus 1. So now it will become 2. At the A of top, you will insert the element 30. So you will assign the... 30 value so which is nothing but a of 2 at the index 2 you are inserting the element 30 then you want to insert the 40 then again you will perform top is equal to top plus 1 so top will become 3 at the a of 3 you are assigning the value 40 so now 40 is here so all the elements are done so now top is equal to 3 so it is pointing here are you able to understand so this is the way you can push the elements into the stack which is implemented using the array. Now look at this one. 
pop operation I want to do. Now, already I have discussed that stack will use the first in last out principle or last in first out principle. What is meant by first in last out? Whatever the element which is inserted first will be deleted at the last. Similarly, the element which is inserted at last will be deleted first. Look at here. The 10 was inserted first. You can delete at last only because it is looking like 40 is there, below 30 is there, below 20 is there, then 10 is there. So if you want to delete 20, you cannot delete it. Or I, let me use the proper terminology. If you want to pop the element 20 from the stack, you cannot directly pop it. First, you have to pop the topmost element. Then only next element you can pop like that you have to do. So the popping can be done from the top. So that's why we will say that stack uses the first in last out principle. Okay. So now how the pop operation will be happen. You want to delete the 40. Then what you will do is that you will decrement the top minus minus or you will write the post decrement. Okay. So which is nothing but top is equal to top minus 1. Now what is the top value? Top value is 3. If you write 3 minus 1, top value will become 2. So now top is pointing to the index 2 of the array A. So meaning is that logically you have deleted the element 40. Is it clear? Similarly, so the first element popped is 40. Next again you want to pop the element. So again you will write top is equal to top minus 1. What is the top value currently 2? So 2 minus 1 will be 1. So now top is equal to 1. So top is pointing here. So you have deleted the 30 logically. Now you want to display the elements. Okay. You have popped 40 and 30. Now you want to display the elements. The displaying of the elements will be happened from top to index 0. Is it clear? When i is equal to top, then condition you will write i is greater than or equal to 0. Then you will do the updation as i minus minus and you will write print of percentage d a of top. Let me write that one simply for your understanding. So I will take a variable i and I will write i is equal to top. Okay. I greater than or equal to 0, I will write i minus minus, I will write print of percentage d backslash n a of i. Is it clear? So look at here. What is the logic here? The first element will be displayed as 20. Then 10 will be displayed because I am going from the top and up to index 0. So the elements will be displayed as 20 and 10. Lot of students will confuse. After performing these operations, if I ask them display the elements of the stack, they will write 10 and 20. It is wrong because stack uses the lost in first out principle. So first 20 will be displayed, then 10 will be displayed. Okay. So this is what the display thing. Now peak. Peak says the topmost element in the stack. What is the topmost element? To the element where the top is pointing which is 20. So if you write the peak operation it will display the output as 20 here. So I hope you have understood how to perform the push, pop and display on the stack which is implemented using the array. Now let me write those functions in a proper way so that you will understand the logic properly. Let me write all those three functions not for four functions I am writing. So let me define a function called push. I am writing a void function. So the meaning is that the name of the user defined function is push and the function does not return a any value. So that's why I use the keyword. I have used the keyword called void. Okay. Now I want to push the elements into the stack. Let's take that. We have taken in an integer array of size 5. So using this array A, you want to implement the stack. So if the array size is 5, you can insert only 5 elements. So the index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
whenever you are inserting or pushing the element in the stack, you have to check whether the stack is full or not. If stack is already full, you cannot insert any element. So how can you check whether the stack is full or not? If top is equal to is equal to size minus one or this is the generalized one. If you want to check for this example, you can write top is equal to is equal to four. Then you can say that stack is full. So you will write print of stack is full you can write this statement or you can say the stack is full you cannot insert any elements else okay else you will write the main logic else meaning is that stack is not full okay we know that initially top is equal to minus one meaning is that stack is empty now <coughs> once i want to push the element i need to ask the user which element he or she want to insert so i will write print of let me declare here some variable x which is an integer because the integer array I can push only integer constant print of enter the value which to be inserted for simplicity let me write it as enter the value okay ends with a semicolon then whatever the element the user has entered I need to scan it using the scanf function so I'm writing as it is an integer constant, I'm writing percentage D and I want to store it in the address of the variable X. Once the user has entered, what I need to do, first I need to do top plus plus, which is nothing but top is equal to top plus one. Then A of top is equal to X. Okay. Then close the else block, close the function. So this is the user defined function definition of the push okay this is the user defined function called push i'm writing the function definition function definition says what are the statements you want to execute okay a function will have three things one is the function declaration function calling and function definition okay so this is the function definition of the push okay now look at here initially top is empty so top is equal to minus one so I want to insert the value 20. So user has entered the value 20. Then the value 20 is stored in the variable x. Okay. Initially x is a local variable. So block garbage value will be there. And I, I have entered the or assigned the value 20. So now x is consists of value 20. Is it clear? Now top plus plus. So top is equal to minus 1. So now top will become 0 at a of top so array name is a at top meaning is that at index 0 you want to assign the value 20 so value 20 will come now top is pointing here is it clear similarly again i have called the push function this time i want to insert the element 40 the user has assigned the value 40 here so that value i am storing here so 40 is there now again what I will do top plus plus so again top will become one okay see you have to declare the top variable globally because you have to use this one top variable in push pop display and the peak so we will declare it as a global variable I will discuss about the main function later first I will, let me discuss about the each function detail so top plus plus so top is equal to one a of top is equal to x so a of 1 is equal to 40 at the index 1 of the array a you are pushing now top is pointing here okay now let's say that you want to insert the another value so let's take that user has entered 60 so now x is consists of 60 and top plus plus now top will become 2 a of top so a of 2 location you are assigning the value 60 now 60 will come here now top okay like that you will insert let's take that you have inserted some 80 you have inserted 100 okay so now look at here again after inserting all the elements now top will be pointing here am i right after inserting each element the top will be incremented now top is equal to 4 okay 
Now you want to insert another element. Again, the push function will be called. Now look at this condition. Top is equal to size minus 1. The array size is 5 here. So 5 minus 1, which is nothing but 4. So top is already 4. 4 is equal to 4. This condition is true. If this condition is true, you have to display a stack is full. If stack is full, you cannot insert any elements into the stack. Okay. So this is about the push function. Now let me discuss about the pop function. Okay. What is meant by pop? Deleting the element from the stack. Let me write the code for it. Void pop. Okay. Now whenever you are deleting the elements from the stack, you have to check whether the stack is empty or not. If stack is empty, meaning is that there is no elements into the stack. If there is no elements into the stack, how can you delete it? So you will write the condition if top is equal to is equal to minus 1, meaning is that stack is empty. So you write printf stack is empty. Okay, else. Okay, meaning is that stack is not empty. If stock is not empty, you want to delete this 100 element. Let's take that you want to delete it. All these elements are currently there in the stack. Now, whatever the element you have to drop, delete, that element should be from the top only. So the element, if you write the pop, you can delete the 100 only. You cannot directly delete the or pop the element 40, which is there at the index 1. Now, whatever the element which is pointing by the top, that index location, what value is there, that value only you can pop it or delete it from the stack. Now, to do that one, so whatever the element you are popping, if you want to display that element, you write printf person or you can write the deleted element is or the popped element is okay the deleted element is percentage d you can write a of top at the index top because the top is equal to 4 because all the elements we have pushed into the stack so a of 4 at the index 4 what element is there that 100 will be displayed as an output now you have to pop the from the stack so you will write top minus minus if you say top minus minus top is equal to 4 so top minus minus is nothing but top is equal to top minus 1 which is nothing but 4 minus 1 will be assigned to the top so top will become 3 if top becomes 3 it is pointing to here because the index is 3 so logically we have deleted the element 100 okay is it clear this is the way the pop operation can be performed on a stack which is implemented using the array. If all the elements you have popped, you have called this function called pop several times. If top is equal to minus 1, then you can say that stack is empty. Then you cannot delete the elements. Okay. So this is about the pop operation. Now I want to display the elements which are there in the stack. Let me write a function called display. Okay, void display. Okay, then what I am writing is that again you have to check if top is equal to is equal to minus one, then meaning is that stack is empty. If stack is empty, what elements are there? There are no elements. You can say that stack is empty. Okay, if stack is empty, what you can display? You cannot display anything because there are no elements. Else, what you need to display? You need to display the elements 80, 60, 40, 20 because the stack follows the principle called lost in first out. Okay, so while you are displaying, you should display from the top and go up to the index 0. So you will take a, a variable called i which is an integer variable. So you will write for i is equal to top i greater than or equal to 0 i minus minus then you will write print of percentage d backslash n a of i is it clear close this else close the function called display 
Now look at here. We have declared a variable called i, which is a local variable. So as we have not assigned any value, initially it will consist of a garbage value. Now top is equal to is equal to minus 1. No, top is equal to 3 in our case. So this condition is false. If it is false, it will come to the else block. i is equal to top. Now i is equal to 3. We are assigning it. Okay, good. Now once the assignment or initialization section, a for loop will have initialization, up, condition checking and updation. Now initialization will happen once. Then you will check the condition. What is this condition? i greater than or equal to 0. 3 is greater than 0. S, yes, the condition is true because i value is 3. So 3 is greater than 0. The condition is true. If the condition is true, what are the statements which are there in the for loop you have to execute? What is the statement is there? Print of percentage d a of i. a of i is nothing but a of 3. So at the index 3, what element is there? 80. That will be displayed. Then you are writing backslash n, the cursor will come to the next line. Then you will go for the i minus minus. So i value will be become 2. Now again you will check the condition 2 is greater than 0. The condition is true. If the condition is true, you will display a of 2 which is nothing but 60. Then you will cursor will come to the next line. Now i minus minus i value will become 1. 1 is greater than 0. Again the condition is true. So a of i, a of 1 which is 40, then cursor will come here, then i value will be decremented, i value will become 0. Now 0 is equal to 0. Yes, this condition is true. They are saying that i should be greater than or equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 0, the condition is true, so it will print the element which is there at the index 0 which is 20. Now i value will become minus 1. Now they said i should be greater than or equal to 0 but minus 1 is less than 0. So this condition will be failed. If the condition is failed, it will come out from the for loop. After that there is no statement so it will come out from the function also. So the elements are displayed as 80, 60, 40, 20. Okay, is it clear? Are you able to understand? So this is about the display function. Now let me write the peak function. What is the peak function? The topmost element you want to display as an output. So you have to write void peak. Okay. Then if top is equal to is equal to minus 1. Oh sorry. Top is equal to is equal to minus 1. You have to print stack is empty. If stack is empty there is no elements. How you can display the topmost element? Okay, else you will write a of you will write print of percentage d the topmost element you can write percentage d a of top. Okay, then close the function. So this is about the peak. The peak is nothing but displaying the topmost element. So the element which is top. Suppose let's say that top is equal to three. So a of 3 index value. So value 80 will be displayed as an output. This is the topmost element currently in the stack. So this is about the various functions. Now let me write the main function for your understanding. Okay, because every program will start executing from the main function. So what I will do is that I will include the header file called stdio.h. And then I will write the hash include stdlib.h. Then I will define hash define size as some 50. Then I will declare the global variables int a of size. I am declaring an array of size 50. And then int top is equal to minus 1. Okay, is it clear? Are you able to understand it or not? Now, what will happen is that you are calling the main function. So void main. Okay, void main. Then what you are doing? You are, uh, what you call, here you have to declare those functions. Okay, 
am i right or wrong what are the four functions are there you have to declare such as void push void pop okay and then void display like that you have to write here okay then i will write the main function so main function what i will do is that i will ask the some choice int n i will ask the okay int n then i will write while one okay i will ask print of enter the choice enter the choice you can write one is for you can write here one is for push two is for pop three is for display okay four is for peak like that you can write the choice okay enter the choice then ask the user to enter the choice in the variable n okay then you will write here okay you will write a switch case okay switch n you will write case 1 okay case 1 is nothing but you are calling a function called push so you will call the push and then you will write the break case 2 you will write pop and then you will break case 3 you will write display function you will call the display function you will write the break statement case 4 is peak you will call the peak function you will break then case 5 you want to exit if it is case 5 you can write here if your choice is 5 okay is for exit if the user want to exit from the program okay then you can write case 5 is exit 1 okay so that's why i have included the stdlib.h default if the user has entered any other choice other than 1 2 3 4 5 then you can write invalid choice or you can write invalid okay then you are closing the switch open the switch close the switch close the while loop close the main function this is the main function then already i have discussed about the various functions such as push pop display all these things i hope you have understood the how to implement the stack using array if you still have any doubts feel free to ask me in the comment session i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day